If the engine rattles, the reason could be a faulty chain tensioner. To remove this, first take off the engine cover. Then remove the air filter housing. Be sure to renew the clamp. Unplug the purge line at the resonance intake manifold. To help you see better, we've removed the engine. Undo the crankcase breather line at the resonance intake manifold. Unplug the connector at the pressure sensor to the throttle valve. and the connection on the throttle valve actuator. Now unclip the cable from the throttle valve actuator. The retaining clip can be found below. Take off the vacuum line of the brake booster. Now unclip the vacuum hose from the resonance intake manifold. Take off the vacuum hose from the vacuum line and disconnect the electrical connector at the charge air temperature sensor. Now remove the vacuum line to the vacuum pump. The changeover valve is next. Disconnect the plug connectors to the selector drum at the resonance flap of the intake manifold. Now remove the cover of the intake manifold. A few more screws and you can remove the whole resonance intake manifold. To get to the right chain tensioner, first remove the crankcase breather. Next, unplug the connectors of the actuating solenoid of the camshaft. Unclip the cable for the engine wiring harness on the front cover. Disconnect the plug at the right hall sensor and disconnect the ground line. Set the wiring harness aside. Now undo these screws on the front cover. These are made of aluminum and may not be reused. Then with a wedge, lever the lid out at the prying lugs and remove. To remove the right chain tensioner, Rotate the center bolt on the crankshaft in the direction of rotation to the 40 degree crank angle after the TDC of the first cylinder. The two marking edges should point down and inward. If they are not visible, turn the crank again 360 degrees until the marks are in the correct position. Only then should you undo the screws and remove the chain tensioner. Check the chain tensioner and its extended measure. 
It may only be reused if the extended measure is 74.5 millimeters and is undamaged. Now tension the unit again. Use a vise with plastic jaws. Then install the chain tensioner. The next step is the cleaning. Just use cleaning spray. Deal with the sealing surface on the cylinder head, the cylinder head cover and the front cover. Never use sharp tools or sandpaper to remove sealant residue. Make sure that nothing falls into the engine otherwise engine damage could occur. Apply the new sealant with a width of one millimeter. Then carefully reattach the freshly sealed cover. For the reinstallation, use new screws and a torque of 5 Newton meters. The installation takes place in the reverse order. Don't forget to renew all the seals.